What's up, Time Keepers? Me, Time Gamer here. Gonna be trying out a small little game for you guys called Mary's Room. So, if ready, I'm ready. Time to roll the intro. Oh, okay, okay. Are we getting closer? Three, four, nine. So I'm missing all is now harmed. I'm missing something here to get the like the last piece of the code here. Oh, I didn't, I didn't get that one. That's Murray's birthday. That's weird. I guess she wrote it down for that Ben guy for her pizza and movie party. All right, I might have been a little jealous. I think that's pretty much the only... I think I got everything now, right? Let's go see the journal. Or maybe not. So, three. We're still missing one here. Four nine three four nine space one. Hmm. Right, let's keep looking. I think it's the password I'm missing here. It might be available, but oh you see over here it says library. If I go to library. I'm not a book, maybe? Oh. Damn, what's the password again? I'm not a... To find it. <laughs> okay, let's keep looking here down. Oh, Kelsey Smoke. I thought I was so lucky. An adoring boyfriend. Free burgers from the kitchen he worked in. Sparkly things he bought me. I thought if I took care of him, he'd take care of me, and we'd get out, just in case I didn't get that scholarship. I had no idea where the money came from. Hmm. Now, does that give me the password, the, the extra number I'm missing? Unless I'm blind. Okay, so basically I'm writing Mary Mary's journal. Okay, now I understand. Okay, so I went back I went back to the the level and I found the code. It was that little tag uh uh it's it was a little thing under the doormat. The password is I'm not a shadow person. I just I it was it was uh, it, it was bothering me so I had to go back and check it out. So sorry about that. I uh, I'm going to this is going to be like in between where right before I put the ending there. So, so the emails. Why does someone need to get hurt before we step up and act? For Christ's sake. If they had, none of this shit would have happened. Hmm. And no one would have died. Okay. Oh no. <coughs> Tell me, Marie. No wonder you were so frightened. We never should have gone to the Orange Grove.
<laughs> oh god. All right, let's see what's over here. One day, cat I just had to know what's up with all the cats. She said she admired them, that they were who they were without any pretense, that they had no fear of confrontation. She wanted to be more like them. All right. When Bumblebee went missing, Marie cried for days. She thought I couldn't hear her at night. I could never prove it, but I'm sure it was Trevor. Marie, hmm. what were you thinking? Now this makes a lot more I sense. It's illegal. If I go back in the journal, will that number five be there now? Yeah, it is. All right, so that we know that this is number five. Today was a good day. Only five emails. All right. So that was the the missing the missing stuff from uh, from the game. So back to the ending. I can always try to see if that's gonna work. If I can just. I need to find the key. Three, number. four, nine, one. She must have written it down here somewhere. God damn it. What is the combination? Mer God damn it. What is God We can do this, see if it's going to work. God damn it. Yay. Yeah, I got it. Good work, Kelsey. Oh. oh. Okay. The past, like the future, is indefinite and exists only as a spectrum of possibilities. Stephen Hawking said that. I wish it were true. But there was nothing I could do about the past. It was definite as hell. Sometimes I didn't get Marie. I really thought a night by Jones's pool would help her relax. She used to love it there. But she insisted someone had been watching us. I just wanted to have a good time. And she was ruining it. So I said some things I shouldn't have. She just stood there, staring at the window. I was so annoyed. Mm -hmm. And that's when I knew she'd been right. Trevor. Right there in the room. He'd just come in through the open window. How did he find us? He didn't know where Marie and I lived. I always made sure of that. But he took an orange from his backpack and started peeling it. It had been Trevor by the pool. And he'd followed us home. He <coughs> said, I told you not to mess with me. But still, I didn't get it. Hmm. No, it wasn't until he started moving in on her that I realized it was Marie. He was after Marie. He blamed her for everything, and he had a knife. I'd never seen him so angry, so evil. Marie tried to get it away from him. He asked her why she never answered her phone. Did she not read her emails? Or did she think they were hollow threats? God, I just wanted to punch him with anything I could lay my hands on. My backpack. I smashed it against his wrist, knocking the knife out of his hands. Marie went for it, but... Trevor was faster. He kicked her in the head. I dove for the knife, but he jumped me. As we struggled, he hissed. Didn't I get enough action yet? Maybe I needed another baseball bat to get my kicks. Mm. I stopped. Because right then I knew what he was up to. He asked Marie about Mr. Torres. Was he all right? Did he still get stomach aches? Marie lay on the floor by the bed, in shock. Realizing it had been Trevor who almost killed her father. Oh, Jesus. Then Trevor looked at me, added with a <laughs> smile. And her. That's when it all went to pieces. Trevor ripped us apart, and he was enjoying it. Marie didn't understand. I tried to explain, apologized, but she wasn't listening. She kept asking me if I'd been there with Trevor in their house. Trevor stirred things up even more. He told her it was me who had hit her over the head with a baseball bat, that I'd enjoyed it. I screamed in frustration, no, 
That's not what happened. Tears streamed down Marie's face. She couldn't believe I would do that. Hurt her deliberately. Mm. God, I wanted Trevor to stop talking. I attacked him, scratched his face, hit him wherever I could. I hated him. He was twisting everything. I wanted to tell her that I was sorry. Yes, we robbed the house. And we got caught by Mr. Torres. But I never meant for anyone to get hurt. I didn't smash Marie's head. God I damn it. panicked. I wanted to stop her from seeing me. When I realized how badly injured she was, I called the police. I tried to stay, but Trevor wouldn't let me. He pulled me by my hair into the van. But Marie wasn't listening. I was losing it, and I like to think I beat Trevor up pretty good. But Trevor punched back harder and faster. He was about to crack my skull. Marie clawed for the box beside her, opened it. She screamed, told us to stop, pointed that nine millimeter at us. Trevor went nuts, charged for her. She screamed, told him to stay back. She'd never shot a gun in her life. She wasn't going to start now. Trevor grabbed her by the shoulders and... Hmm. What do you think you remember is not necessarily what really happened. Or <coughs> others remember it. But Trevor fell back on the carpet, dead. That we all remember. Well, wow, that took a twisty turn. Mom, where are you? Did you get the journal? I'll be down in a minute. Anne Marie is getting a little worked up here. She's oh. starting to smoke a cigar. <coughs> Don't let her smoke. I love that car. She knows you do. Get down here, Mom. You're taking like forever. I'll be down in a minute. Bring the journal. Oh. All right. So. I didn't find everything in the journal, though. I sort of cheated the code there at the end, though, but. I knew it was her. Who else? Oh, there's... there's only one thing to do. Get to Marie. Hmm. She wouldn't talk to me on the phone, so what else could I do? Drove all the way up there to Vancouver, freezing my ass off in that tin can of a car. California crisp white wines. Mm. I'll need a crate of those when I get out of here. What, more than a hundred again today? Glad I don't have to deal with that anymore. No, that's her parents' room. All right. Hmm. So that's a fun little game. Uh, yeah, I really enjoyed it. The story seems pretty interesting. It took a weird turn there at the end, uh, which I wasn't expecting, that she was the one that did the sort of attacked uh, Mr. Torres and Marie. And uh, yeah, so hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I'll, I'll let you guys uh, tell me in the comments below what you thought of the game. I'm, I'm, I really enjoyed this small little story. It actually does it really well. It's a hard genre to do. Uh, sorry, I'm just going to put down the volume a bit there. It's a... Uh, Walking simulators, well, walking simulators, it's a bit of a, a, bad, a bad term for uh, to use, but uh, walking games like this, where it's a nar sorry narrative-driven game, uh, it's a bit harder to do to get it done properly, and I have to say this game does it quite well. The way uh, it links all the clues together in the room without letting too much on of the final story, because at the end there, I didn't know, I, I never under, I never, uh, 
thought that that's what the ending was going to be, which is actually pretty good. Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, really appreciate that. Follow me everywhere, me time gamer, Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, Instagram, and right here at YouTube.com for slash me time gamer, where I post a new video every week, Monday to Friday, 3 p.m. Eastern time. But thank you so much, guys, for watching. Now, it's the next video. Keep on keeping on.